guys, I have a 10 minute all level power flow for you today. 10 minutes isn't very long to do a power flow, so we're gonna get straight into it. If, you need an, um, if you're really cold and you need a, more of a warm up first, and there are lots of other videos to choose from for warm ups, um, you know your body best, please modify for your body. You might need to grab some blocks if you wanna have your hands under blocks on forward folds. Um, and we're gonna do one of my favorite kind of flowing today, which is a ladder flow. So we're gonna start from a sun salutation and then add on each time and power it up a little bit. So you're gonna come to the front of your mat, toes together, heels slightly apart, bring your hands to your heart center, close your eyes for a moment, find some grounding and take a huge breath in. Exhale, let it go. One more time, just like that. Inhale, belly rises, chest rises, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. And exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Blink the eyes open. As you inhale, reach the arms forwards and up, draw the ribs in. Exhale, hinge forward, gentle bend at the knees as your hands meet the earth. Inhale, halfway. Remember, you can grab those blocks, hands on shins if you want. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank. Everyone, drop the knees. Pull back with the hands as you lower. Keep the shoulder tips lifted. Inhale, pulls you back, cobra. Exhale, hips to the sky. Take a moment, take a breath. We're all going to find our strength here in Downward Facing Dog and find some stillness first. So lift the sit bones, drown down through the hands, dial them out, draw the ribs in towards the back body, lower belly up and in. Shine the backs of the thighs towards the back of the room and remember that dialing out sensation of the hands, get those shoulders really secure. Holding here in stillness, three, two, one. Exhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Inhale, step or jump to the front of the mat. Find that halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Grab the blocks if you need to. Inhale, root to rise. Coming all the way up, fingers touch. Exhale, straight back down. Now we add on. Hands to the earth. Inhale, find that halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, find your plank. Option to drop the knees. Remember, ribs strong, glutes on as you lower. Shoulders stay lifted. Inhale, open through the heart space. And exhale, navel to spine. Inhale, your right leg lifts. Exhale, step it to the front of the mat, framing the front foot. Use your hand if you need to, to bring that foot forward. As you inhale, lift up, rise up, high lunge. Now bring your hands on your pelvis and bring yourself into a neutral pelvis. Notice if you're dipping forward. And if you need to, have a little micro bend in that back leg. Holding here, reaching through the fingertips, lifting through the side waist. Now draw the ribs in even more. Make this super, super strong. Breathe in and out through the nose if you can, but if that feels too weird, as I said before, as long as you're breathing, I'm happy. Next, exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Start, start to shift the weight forward, grounding down through the right big toe, lifting that left leg behind you. Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. Now connect to your cord. Imagine your hip bones and magnets drawing towards each other. Draw the ribs in. Ground down through your right foot, pushing through the big toe mound. Then exhale, bend the knee, toes come down, hands come down, step back plank. Lower, with control, with intention. Ribs draw in. Inhale, heart open, squeezy bum. And exhale, navel to spine, lift you up. Inhale, left leg high to the sky, lift it up. Exhale, step it forward to the front of the mat. And inhale, lift up, rise up, high lunge. Again, thinking about that neutral pelvis. I like to hug my inner thighs in towards each other so I can feel really strong and stable particularly in the pelvis. Lift through the fingertips, lift those shoulder blades up towards the ears, draw the ribs in. Exhale, finding grounding through that left big toe, lift the right leg behind you, coming back to your warrior three. Now think about your neck for a moment, can you bring it into neutral? Are you gazing down, are you gazing too far forward? Think about your spine as this lovely S curve, holding here for three, Spiral that left hip down, keep it square. Two and one, toes come down, hands come down, step back, 
plank pose lowering to a count of three keep dialing those hands out pulling them back two one inhale heart opens exhale navel to spine now option to stay here option for child's pose option to power it up a level maybe walk your feet a little bit further forward ground down through the hands dial them out connect to the ribs connect to the glutes and we're going to take some little bunny hops Make sure the area around your mat is nice and clear so you're nice and safe. And you're gonna take five of these little hops and really lean into the hands, aiming to get your hips over your shoulders. And when you've done your five, let's all meet in downward facing dog. Big breath in through the nose, let it out through the mouth. Bend the knees, gaze forward. Step or jump to the front of the mat, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, coming all the way up, fingers touch. Exhale, straight back down, fold. Inhale, find length, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back. Either downward facing or taking your vinyasa. Your practice, your choice. Exhale, hips to the sky. Inhale, right leg lifts. This time, exhale, shift it forward, tap close to your right elbow. Inhale, lift up, breathe up. Exhale, grounding through those hands, bring your knee towards your nose. Last time, inhale, reach it up. This time, knee taps, left tricep, tap. Step the foot forward, inhale, lift up, breathe up, high lunge. A Little bit quicker this time, you know where we're going. Take a huge breath in, and as you exhale, hands come to your heart space, opening up into that warrior. If you want to, you can whoop, <laughs> lift my balance. Shoot your arms out back behind you. Keep grounding through that right big toe, drawing the ribs in. Three, we're heading towards warrior two. Two and one, spiral the arms open, sitting low into your warrior two. Front foot facing forward, back foot parallel to the edge of the mat. Now ground through the feet, push through the big toes, lift through the arches. Feel that energy. Some people call this padabanda. So we have the energy docks in yoga, and you often hear of mulabanda and udiyana banda, but padabanda, our foot banda, our foot energy lock, where energy rises up. And if you ground down, you can really feel it coming all the way up through the body. As you exhale, we're going to sit down into skandhasana, half yogi squat. So your left knee is about to bend. Turn the toes 45, come onto the heel of your right foot. Only sit down as low as you can control it. Give your bum a poke, check those muscles are working. Feel a lifting feeling. If you're chilling out down here, that's not what I want. I want the strength. Pull three, pull two, and one. Spiral back to the front of the mat, step back, plank pose. Taking your vinyasa or going to your downward facing dog, we're all going to meet there. Inhale, left leg rises, left knee, Left tricep, tap. Inhale, lift it up, rise up. Exhale, draw in the core as you tap the knee towards the nose. Inhale, reach up, lift up. Exhale, right knee, right, left knee, right tricep, twist. Then step your foot. Inhale, lift you up, high lunge. Take a huge breath in. Exhale, ribs draw in as your hands come to your heart, lifting up into your warrior three. Remember, you can shoot your arms back alongside your body as if you're a little aeroplane soaring in the sky. You're gonna hold it here, and in a moment, we're going to windmill round into our warrior two. Exhale, foot comes down, take your warrior two. I'm gonna switch sides of the mat. So our left toes facing forward. Think about that idea of padabanda, grounding through the mat, lifting through the arches. Feel that energy rising through the floor all the way through your body. Lift more through the crown of your head, reach away with the fingers. Then as you exhale, bend into your right knee this time. Left foot comes all the way, um, toes towards the ceiling. Sitting down, sitting down, sitting down. Feeling that lift, lift through the pelvic floor. Feel the strength of the core. Notice, is this knee cup singing? Can you push it out? Get that glute work working. And then you're going to wimble your hands, frame that front foot, step back, plank, lower your vinyasa. We're coming straight to downward facing dog. And then last time with these little bunny hops, 
Walking the toes forward, leaning into the hands, dialing those hands out and taking those little hops, seeing if you can have a moment of flight in the air. And when you've done four or five or six or however many you want to do, we are all going to meet in child's pose. So bring the chest down, reach the fingers forward. Let everything melt, come back to your breath. Notice, have you lost it? And can you slow it even more? Can you deepen it even more? And then slowly from here, you're going to walk yourself back up and come into a seated position. If you want, you can come into a little Shavasana. If you want, you can pause the video and keep adding on. Yoga self-practice is amazing. And one of the easiest way I found to start was by doing a simple flow like this. Start from sun salutation A or B and then add on a few postures. It doesn't have to look amazing. It doesn't have to be anything, but ask yourself, what does my body need? And we're gonna end with three deep breaths together. Close your eyes, reach up through the crown of your head, or melt into the floor. Inhale, exhale, let it go. Two more times, big breath in. And release. Last time, biggest, deepest breath you've taken today. Fill it up. And exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. <sighs> Guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm definitely feeling warmer now. <laughs> See you on the mat again tomorrow.